good morning and welcome back to another vlog i'm about to cook some breakfast right now and i'm about to cook some bacon hash browns eggs all the things and I also have to go to Trader Joe's and Costco today to do our monthly every six week grocery restock and my hair is bothering me today it feels really dry I need to start doing more hair masks like Olaplex oils stuff if you guys have any recommendations for good hair masks please leave them in the comments down below because I'm just struggling I really do love the leave-in spray that I just got from Ulta for like 10 bucks and it's supposedly a, it's a 10 dupe let me show you it this is it it's the I wasn't even showing you it it's the what is it Eva NYC it's the main magic 10 in 1 primer it's a heat protectant two it strengthens it's a heat protectant reduces frizz detangles softens cuts drying time adds shine nourishes smooths uv protection and it has argan oil and sunflower seed oil in it it's really good but i think my hair needs just some extra help so, because it just feels dry please leave any hair tips hair mask tips any products that you love to help with dry hair especially if you're a blonde or just struggle with dry hair in general i did put some oil in it last night i put some almond oil in it not a lot because it's hard to get out the next day but i put a little bit in it and it just didn't do anything and i slept in it too so any tips are appreciated florida humidity is back just got in the car to go to Trader Joe's and I'm gonna go to Whole Foods and Sephora to get my cleanser that I was supposed to get like two weekends ago, but they were out of stock. But I just looked online and it looks like the Sephora that's by Whole Foods, it's in a Whole Foods parking lot, which is kind of dangerous. Um, it's in stock now, so I think I'm gonna go there and Whole Foods and the Sephora is right next to Trader Joe's, so it all kind of works out. So I brought a little cooler this is christian's cooler from work he's a liquor salesman if you didn't know or if you didn't watch his vlog he did a day in life vlog and he explained what he did brought you kind of along on his day or his work day but um yeah so i have a cooler that he got from his job that says crown royale on it so i'm gonna bring that so i can stuff the trader joe's cold stuff in it and that way I can easily go to Whole Foods and Sephora and not worry about it sitting in my hot car because it is 90 degrees in Florida, which is such a switch up from Nashville. It was literally in the 30s and the 40s and dropped into the 20s. So it was a little bit cold for me personally because I am from Florida and I'm a wimp when it comes to cold weather because we just don't get it here. But anyways, um, I'm meeting Taylor and Maya at Trader Joe's. So we're gonna do a little friends Trader Joe's trip. This Trader Joe's run is gonna be really different for me because I am dairy free now. If you've missed any of my past vlogs, I'm dairy free. I chose to do it because I think I have a slight intolerance to it. How do I, I don't, it doesn't affect me like it doesn't run right through me if that makes sense like no food I don't have that type of reaction to any food it never just like runs right through me so since cutting out dairy it has completely changed my digestion not completely but it has drastically changed my digestion and how I feel on a day-to-day -day. I used to have a stomach ache every single day of my life and I sort of normalized it. And since cutting out dairy, I don't get stomach aches every day. And I don't know if dairy is like the cause of it, but it's the only thing that I really changed. So I'm gonna stick to it. Last weekend while I was in Nashville, I did have dairy. So I kind of did break the no dairy and I felt it for sure. I was very bloated, um, but 
yeah so I'm gonna be looking for a lot of things from Trader Joe's that don't have dairy in them so I'm gonna stick to it I read that it takes at least 21 days for something that you're allergic to or something that is like you've eaten that doesn't sit well with you to completely pass through your system if you have been eating it all the time so I'm gonna go like the full 21 days and really see how I feel and then I'm gonna bring it back in and see what happens but I had to restart because last weekend I had dairy and then I just had and then that Monday I, I was off work and I just was like you know what I'm just gonna eat dairy and I'll start again tomorrow so it was just a bunch of dairy that I had so we're gonna try it again and see how how this is how this works I'm gonna do a quick Trader Joe's haul and then I'll pull out some stuff that I got from Whole Foods and show you guys. But this Trader Joe's haul is basically all dairy free except for a few items that I got for Christian. I'll start over here. Got their sourdough, love their sourdough. Got these grainless tortilla chips. These are really good. Got these sweet potato chips. Haven't tried these before, but they looked really good. Got some pasta just to try. I have <laughs> something to talk about when it comes to me doing these Trader Joe's hauls. I have done a million and one Trader Joe's hauls on my channel and no one has <laughs> told me that the name of this, these chips is not everything but the Elote chips. And that's what I've been calling them. Every single Trader Joe's haul, I call these the everything but the Elote chips. And they're not, they're called the Elote corn chip dippers. And I don't know why I've been calling them that, but I think of the seasoning, that's the everything but the Elote seasoning. So, <laughs> I don't know why no one told me, but Christian brought it up one time. Christian, what'd you say? You said, I'm sick of you calling them that? <laughs> He said, I'm sick of you calling them that. I was like, what do you mean? That's what they're called. And he was like, no, it's not. And yeah, it was totally not what they were called. But I can't have these and my heart is broken because they contain milk. So I got one bag for Christian to enjoy. I got four of these ginger shots. These are my favorite. I got some vegan Caesar dressing, which I'm super excited to try because obviously Caesar dressing has cheese in it, but this is vegan and it doesn't have cashews or anything, which is good because Christian is allergic to cashews and a lot of vegan options that swap out the dairy, they swap it for cashews. So it's always nice finding something that doesn't have cashews as one of the ingredients, but it's also dairy free or vegan. So I love that. Some salsa, some guacamole. I love the other guacamole that's made with 
the Greek yogurt, but since I'm dairy free, I can't do that. So I got this chunky homestyle guacamole. Haven't tried it, but it's probably so good. I mean, you can't really go wrong with guacamole. Got some almond butter almonds, two of those. I think these are dairy free. Oh, can't have these. Okay, these are for Christian, I can't have these. These have milk in them, um, but that's okay. I got some of these frozen vegetables. These are such a good thing to have as just an easy dinner side. I've never tried these before, but I mean, it's just a simple veggie for a side dish for during the week. Got some cauliflower gnocchi. Haven't really purchased this because I love the other ones that Trader Joe's has, but all of them have cheese or milk or something in it. So I'm gonna do the cauliflower gnocchi and then just do it with some dairy-free pasta sauce. Christian's gonna love this because when we used to do HelloFresh a few years ago and we loved it and he loved this one dish that was the, I don't even know how to say that B word, but it's this beef dish and I saw it at Trader Joe's, so this might be a hit. I only got one bag because I didn't know if we were gonna like it, but might be super good. So I'm super excited to try this. Another cauliflower gnocchi, vegetable fried rice, I got some frozen peppers. I got a vegan meatless pizza to try. Orange chicken. I got some center cut filet. Trader Joe's has really good center cut filet. We love it. And then I got these for Christian. These Chinese style pork buns. And then also these pork dumplings. So that's the Trader Joe's haul. I'm gonna put it all away and I'm gonna show you some stuff from Whole Foods. I'm gonna do a Whole Foods haul now. I got some of this Bonza penne for just a side. I got some of these chomps. We love these. Such a good way to get protein in and it's a good snack. <laughs> you don't like the turkey pepperoni, I thought. I thought you liked the beef one better. Um, I got beef and <laughs> uh, turkey pepperoni. Got some of these shell pastas. <laughs> You're absurd. I got some of these shell pastas, toasted marshmallow nut pods creamer. This is so good, one of my favorites. I got more chlorophyll drops. I needed some more, and I get them from Whole Foods. Got my favorite chocolate, the cashew butter one. It's so good, and the good thing about this is that Christian can't have it because he's allergic to cashews, so. This is mine. I got some of these vintage Cola Olipops. These are so good when you want like a soda or something in the afternoon. These are just really, really good. Got some more uh, salt and vinegar chips by the Siete brand. These are so good. Lesser Evil Power Curls, the so no cheese cheesiness. These are really good and they also have protein in them, which I love. Got some of these sour cream and onion poppers by the Lesser Evil brand. Lesser Evil brand from Whole Foods is so good. You can also kind of find them at Publix, but not necessarily these at Publix. You might be able to find this or just the kettle corn, but this is also a really good one, the no cheese cheesiness popcorn. It's so good. These are two things that I'm really excited about trying. Like I mentioned earlier during the Trader Joe's haul, it's really hard to find dairy alternatives that don't have cashew in them because that's basically what a lot of non-dairy products contain and Christian is allergic to cashews. So these are the non-dairy Alfredo and then it says new recipe, no cashews. I love the Primal Kitchen items and then I got the no dairy vodka sauce. And I think that's it. So I'm gonna put this away and head to Costco.
Okay, I'm gonna sound like a broken record if you've watched any of my previous Costco hauls because we usually get just about the same thing, but I'll quickly just go through everything. Got some of this pot roast. It's really, really good. So I got two of those. This is new, just some carnitas. I thought this would be really nice for just some tacos and easy dinner for the week. Eggs, we get our eggs there. This rice cauliflower is so good and we use it in our lunch meal prep. We got a big thing of salmon. We usually get the salmon with the pesto butter on top, but the issue with that is we waste a lot of salmon because we don't eat it the next day. And this way we can kind of control how much we can we vacuum seal and pull out. Some ground turkey for lunches, ground beef for lunches. And then this was a bummer. The chicken didn't come vacuum sealed this time. I don't know what happened. So we're just gonna have to vacuum seal it ourselves, which is fine. We have all the equipment to do it, but. And these praline pecans. That is the Costco haul. I'm gonna put this stuff away, vacuum seal, and I'll talk to you guys later. We're gonna take some ginger shots. We have to. gonna show on her because I was laughing so hard. Okay, it's a lot later. I just spent the last few hours editing a YouTube video and linking everything and it's currently uploading right now. I think I'm gonna post it tomorrow morning because it's Saturday night and I'll just wait. So that's what I've been doing since I got back from all the grocery stores. And now we're gonna go pick up a quick dinner. We're gonna get Jersey Mike's subs and bring it back. But that's what we're doing. Just wanted to give an update on what I've been doing and what we're doing now. It's the next day. Um, I have been working on a few things. Also, sorry if you can hear the laundry in the background. We have stuff in the washer and dryer. But um, it's like two o'clock. I've been working on a lot of stuff kind of this morning that I, I don't like when people do this, but it's, it's not something that I can or want to share yet, but I will eventually share when I guess that I guess I can so I've just been working on a lot of stuff that has to do with like personal and stuff like that I know I'm being super evasive but I definitely will talk about it eventually but I've just been I spent the whole entire morning doing a bunch of stuff um but 
So that's why what I've been doing. I need to go to my dad's house and drop off. I'm closing this door. Um, I need to go to my dad's house and drop off this suitcase that I have. But I did want to talk to you guys about something um, really quick that I'm excited about and that I'm so glad that I found and actually used and looked into. But I want to talk to you guys about curtsy. And if you have no idea what curtsy is, it's like a... I'm trying to think of a good example but it is basically where you go and you can sell or buy clothes that have been like gently worn or brand new with tags some of the items could be sold out on certain websites and it's a really good place to go and look for something that you want but don't want to spend the money on or can't find anymore because it's sold out so I recently checked out Curtsy and I love it and I'm obsessed with it and I actually found, if you guys know my obsession with crewnecks, um, sweatshirts, stuff like that, I have been on the hunt for this Urban Outfitters sweatshirt or crewneck and I found it on Curtsy and it's completely sold out on the Urban Outfitters website. They don't have it in this color currently. So I was looking for the green. I know that they have a pink one, but I found it on Curtsy, gently worn. So that's like the great thing about Curtsy or buying secondhand or buying more sustainably. It's finding stuff that you can't find anymore or are looking for they have so many different brands they have like set active they have skin stuff which i'm constantly refreshing and seeing what people post and are reselling because they have a lot of stuff that's discounted and skims can get pricey so i did want to share with you guys this app and i think it's a website and you can also download it as an app on your phone which is super nice because you can just search it through the app on your phone and just get it super easily and refresh and um get notified when something that you favorited or liked has dropped in price or has sold unfortunately but yeah so <laughs> i've been on the hunt for this sweatshirt and i'm super excited that i found it. So I did want to share with you guys about Curtsy just in case you want to shop more sustainably this year or find a new alternative way to shop, find stuff that's sold out or get it for a discounted price. So I will link Curtsy down below. Definitely check it out. If you're on the hunt for something or you notice something sold out, definitely check out Curtsy because more than likely it's probably there and listed. So Definitely check it out. Super excited about this. <laughs> I wanted to share. Um, now I am going to head to my dad's house, drop off the suitcase, and maybe just come back and chill, do some laundry, stuff like that. Okay, I just got home from Publix. It's a little bit later. I put a majority of the stuff away, but I did want to show you some stuff that I got that I'm excited about. Got some English muffins. I love the Food for Life brand. So I got some of these for breakfast. These I haven't tried and I'm excited about them. Um, they're everything vegan bagels. They're in the frozen section by the Food for Life and the breads if you're interested, but I'm really excited. You know on Wednesdays, if you've seen any of my work week of my life, we do Bagel Wednesdays, and a majority of the bagels that Einstein Bagels has are vegan, but this is a little bit healthier of an option too. So I'm gonna use those for Wednesdays. I got this um, granola last weekend, and it's so good it's my newest obsession i love the original one and the other flavors but this one just tops them all and it has a new sign next to it so i'm wondering if this is a new flavor but it's so good it really is salty and sweet just my favorite and christian loves it too so i got another bag of this i got some so delicious coconut milk yogurt this is my favorite i just get the unsweetened one and then i just use a bunch of different toppings like banana or fruit 
granola, stuff like that. So this is my favorite dairy-free yogurt. Now I'm gonna try this vegan cream cheese, which I don't think I've tried this brand before. I've tried Kite Hill and it's not bad, but I wanna try this one. So what I've been doing at work is I've just been doing vegan butter on top of my bagel. So I'm gonna try this vegan cream cheese for Wednesdays, bagel Wednesdays at work. And then lastly, I got some vegan cheddar cheese. But those are the items that I wanted to share with you that I got from Publix. I'm gonna put this stuff away and then we're gonna figure out dinner. Okay, we just got home from dinner. We got Fresh Kitchen for dinner. I didn't vlog anything, which I actually meant to vlog, but I forgot. So I think I'm gonna end up this vlog here. I'm about to wash my face. So I forgot to share this yesterday, but this is what I got from Sephora. It's the Oat Cleansing Balm by The Inky List. It's $10, it's so good. It removes all of my makeup. So I double cleanse with it. You need to double cleanse. It leaves a residue on your face. So if you're not into that, this is probably not the product for you, but I use it as a makeup remover. I like it a lot more than the makeup wipes. I find that the makeup wipes leave the outer corners of my eyes red after using, and I just heard that they're not that good. So I really only use the makeup wipes if I'm traveling or just if I'm like staying somewhere overnight and I don't wanna bring my whole entire cleansing balm with me. So. I'll link this down below, it's my favorite. I, this is probably like my seventh or eighth container of it, it's really good. And for the price, you really just can't beat it. I find that the Inky List is so good. They have a lot of products that are really, really good and they have some new products too that I wanna try and they're all just around $15 or even below. So, I wanna share that, but probably about to get in the shower. I'm finishing up some laundry. I'm gonna take off my makeup, shower, get into bed and get ready for the work week. So I hope you guys enjoyed this weekend of my life. Make sure you're subscribed, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.